Welcome. Today we would like to share with you some basic information about environmental test chambers. If you are new to environmental testing, this short video will give you a good starting knowledge about test chambers. The following are four of the most popular tests used for environmental testing. Design validation is done to ensure that a product will function in the normal environment it will encounter during its life cycle. It is specification driven and can be done in the R&D phase and or during the production phase. The goal is to pass the test and meet the specification without any failures. The purpose of product validation is to ensure that the product meets the requirements, specifications, and regulations for which it is intended. The product validation procedure uses simulations, similar to those of va design validation, to foresee faults or gaps in the design or manufacturing stages that might cause failures when consumers are using the product. Environmental stress screening uses a variety of different stresses such as thermal cycling to force latent defects in a newly manufactured or repaired product or component. The latent failures represent catastrophic or permanent failures. The surviving products or components are assumed to have higher reliability than a similar unscreened population. Product life cycle testing simulates real world stresses in order to predict the lifespan of a product. It is important to test products for reliability prior to releasing units into production. Ensuring that products can reliably withstand various environmental conditions will reduce costs associated with recalls and warranties. Product testing can give a competitive advantage because it helps in designing and manufacturing a more robust product ready for consumer use. Reliability testing also helps users meet supplier requirements. The most common types of environmental testing include temperature and humidity, halt and hass, altitude and vibration. Let's go over a few basic definitions that will be helpful when discussing test chambers. A thermocouple is a movable device that measures temperature. Product temperature control maximizes stress on the product through the chamber's control system and optimized airflow, measuring and controlling the product's temperature. Airstream control measures air temperature at the outlet source of the air supply. Cascade refrigeration systems consist of two compressors that allow the chamber to go to minus 70 degrees Celsius. Single stage refrigeration consists of one compressor that allows the chamber to typically go to minus 40 degrees Celsius. The chamber's refrigeration system can be cooled in one of three ways. Chambers with six horsepower compressors or smaller can be cooled with an onboard air or water cooled condenser. Chambers with six horsepower compressors or larger can be cooled with either water cooled or remote air cooled condensers. Remote air cooled condensers are typically placed outside either on top of the facility or on the ground. The purpose of all condensers is to draw the heat away from the compressors and other refrigeration system components. Dry air purge enables reduced moisture operation at low temperatures and dew points at minus 40 degrees Celsius. It utilizes compressed air as the supply source and is very helpful in minimizing moisture in the chamber. Gaseous nitrogen is an alternative to dry air purge. Liquid nitrogen boost enables faster pull downs and dissipation of heat from the product. Environmental test chambers come in many shapes and sizes. They mostly fit into one of these four categories. Bench tops are small chambers that fit on tables or counters that are ideal for testing smaller products. Standard chambers, also known as region chambers, are standalone units that are often roughly 8 feet tall and have a wide array of options, features, and capabilities. Walk-in chambers are test chambers a person can walk into that are most often used for testing large products such as automobiles or satellites. Custom built chambers are built to a customer's unique specifications and can be any shape or size. Environmental test chambers come in many shapes and sizes. They mostly fit into one of these four categories. Bench tops, standard, walk-in, and custom built. Bench tops are smaller chambers that fit on tables or counters. They are ideal for testing smaller products. Standard chambers are also known as reach-in chambers. They are standalone units that are often roughly 8 feet tall. The standard chambers have a wide array of options and features and different capabilities. Walk-in chambers are test chambers in which a person can walk into. These are often used for testing large products that would not fit into a standard or benchtop chamber. Walk-in chambers can be either solid or panel. Custom-built chambers are exactly that. 
At times, customers need custom solutions. These can be built to unique customer specifications. Thank you for your time, and we hope this short video has helped you better understand environmental test chambers. If you have any further questions or are curious about some unique specifications, please contact Thermatron at area code 616-393-4580 or email us at info at Thanks again and have a great day.